Okay, so here we have the unfinished serving tray that I got from Amazon.com. And I will put the exact link to where you can get this. But for this particular project, whatever serving tray that you're using, you want to make sure that it is leak proof because we will be pouring resin in here. So for this particular one that I have, the way they made it is they just stapled the parts together. So they're not glued together or anything like that. So there are some gaps. I can definitely see the gaps. So if I were to pour a resin right now, the way it is right now, the resin will just, you know, leak out and make a huge mess. So in order to make this leak proof, the easiest way that I found is probably to use a spackle and then fill in all the gaps with spackle, let it dry. And then after that, I'm going to lightly sand the entire tray because I, I do feel some splinters and rough spots. And then after that, I am going to paint it. So let's get started. Here I have this awesome wrapping paper that I found at Paper Source. And if you don't have one in your area, you can definitely check out their online shop at papersource.com. But I just had to get this one because not only they have, you know, the awesome superheroes and villains, but they also have, you know, Power Rangers and Ultraman and this guy, which I don't think a lot of people know. But in Japanese, we call him Kamen Daida. And, you know, I grew up watching all these live action TV shows. So I just had to get this. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut so that it'll fit into the tray. And then I'm going to glue it down using Mod Podge. And this one is a super gloss brilliant. And I'm going to also use this to seal the paper so the resin won't stain the paper. Now I'm using this particular Mod Podge super gloss instead of the regular gloss is because I hear that this one works better with the resin. Usually the Mod Podge gloss leaves a cloudy film to the whole piece. Um, especially it becomes noticeable, especially when you pour the resin over it. So I'm going to be using this instead. And then after that, I'm going to spray the entire tray with a high gloss acrylic sealant spray to make sure everything is sealed and also to give a nice glossy finish to the tray. And then after that, after everything is dried, I'm going to pour resin in the tray. So here we go.
here's the finished tray and I think it turned out really, really awesome. Definitely make a great gift for Father's Day or really to anybody who loves superheroes and villains. My husband definitely loves, loves <laughs> this tray. So, and it's functional. So I'm definitely gonna use this to entertain my guests. So yeah. Anyway, um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I highly suggest using some kind of non-wrinkling paper craft glue to glue down the paper instead of the Mod Podge Super Gloss that I use because it did cause my paper to wrinkle a little bit. But once I pour resin over it, you can't even tell. But to be on the safe side, I would suggest either using Yes Glue or even the Mod Podge Gloss, the traditional gloss Mod Podge because this is more of a paste, so it's not gonna wet your paper and get it all wrinkly. So that's something to keep in mind. I think I would have done that instead. So that is all everybody. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys liked it. And if you are new to my channel, just click on this tray and it will take you to my main page so you guys can subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Bye!